I'm delighted to welcome Most Reverend Felipe Estevez, Bishop of St. Augustine, Florida, as he offers us a little fervorino on St. Joseph. I welcome the invitation of Bishop David Ricken of Green Bay uh, to share some of the graces in the year of St. Joseph, uh, restore our hope, go to St. Joseph. And indeed, since the beginning of our Diocese of St. Augustine, Florida, 1870, the Sisters of St. Joseph from uh, Le Puy, France, have shown in the entire state of Florida a great love for St. Joseph in schools, in the hospitals, in many other institutions throughout the state of Florida. So in a way, the year of St. Joseph has rekindled that love for St. Joseph that is spread throughout the entire state of Florida. But also the, past, the letter that Pope Francis wrote for the year of St. Joseph, Patris Cordis, has been magnificent. Those seven points on the fatherhood of Joseph it has been internalized by our priests, read by so many of us. And we have been doing consecrations to St. Joseph at the seminary, at the gatherings of priests, retreats, at gathering in, in our parishes. That prayer of consecration and the catechesis of the letter of Patris Cordis has enriched us in a very singular way. But also, I, I should say that the diocese has been praying the prayer to St. Joseph, and our media, our communications office, have been publishing articles and um, images, uh, the, the rich art on St. Joseph, uh, and um, the Diocese of Venice has Bishop Frank de Wayne has also promoted in catechesis and in his priests retreats uh, the year of St. Joseph. So the whole state of Florida in the major institution of the Florida Catholic Conference and the seminaries, um, this have been this has had a great momentum. As a matter of fact, at the personal level, I have been enriched by the reflections of those seven points. I have been enriched in praying the mysteries of the rosary, uh, particularly the mysteries of uh, the infancy of Jesus, and more with St. Joseph. It's Mary and Joseph, the Holy Family, and, and also the uh, the celebration of masses, uh, votive masses for St. Joseph. And we intend to plan very especially the Feast of St. Joseph on March 19 and May 1st. Thank you, Bishop David Ricken, for inviting us to share these um, experiences on the year of St. Joseph. And like you, we say, restore our hope. Go to St. Joseph. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glorious Saint Joseph, who has been elevated by an ineffable design of God to the dignity of spouse of Mary and foster father of Jesus, and who has been proclaimed as patron of the Universal Church, with joy we kneel before you to thank God for the privileges bestowed upon you, and also for the dignity to which he has raised you among all men. Blessed are you because you have consoled, assisted, and protected the August Virgin Mary, your Immaculate Spouse. Blessed are you because you have devoted yourself to our divine Redeemer, Jesus, sparing no trouble to clothe him, to protect him against the snares of his enemies, to save him for the salvation of the world. Blessed are you because you have always been the consoler, the defender, and the supporter of the church in its trials. Blessed are you because no one has ever had recourse to your protection or implored your aid without obtaining relief. We kneel before you to place ourselves among the number of your children and in the shelter of your powerful protection. 
We shall always love and honor you as our kind Father, and we beg of your goodness, O dear Joseph, that you accept us as your beloved children, that you take into your hands our interests, temporal as well as spiritual, and that you defend us against the snares of the devil, protect us against the dangers with which we are surrounded. Direct us, O most loving Father, to the love of the divine heart of Jesus, to an unswavering fidelity to the Holy Church, to a filial affection for the Blessed Virgin, our Mother, so that by your help we may enter heaven to glorify God together with you during all eternity. Amen. Hail Joseph, son of David, most pure spouse of the Immaculate Mother of God and faithful guardian of our Lord Jesus Christ. Pray for us, your children. Pray for our loved ones whom you have graciously accepted into your protection and your mighty patronage. Amen. The Litany of St. Joseph. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Fathers Norbert and Augustine, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Noble offspring of David, pray for us. Light of patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. Foster father of the Son of God, pray for us. Zealous defender of Christ, pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Saint Joseph most just, pray for us. Saint Joseph most chaste, pray for us. Saint Joseph most prudent, pray for us. Saint Joseph most courageous, pray for us. Saint Joseph most obedient, pray for us. Saint Joseph most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of patience, pray for us. Lover of poverty, pray for us. Model of workmen, pray for us. Glory of domestic life, pray for us. Guardian of virgin, pray for us. Pillar of families, pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted, pray for us. Hope of the sick, pray for us. Patron of the dying, pray for us. Terror of demons, pray for us. Protector of our holy church, pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. He has made him the Lord of his household and prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in your loving providence chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother, grant us the favor of having him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. O blessed Joseph, faithful guardian of my Redeemer, Jesus Christ, protector of thy chaste spouse, the Virgin Mother of God, I choose thee this day to be my special patron and advocate. And I firmly resolve to honor thee from this time forth. Therefore, I humbly beseech thee to receive me as thy client, to instruct me in every doubt, to comfort me in every affliction, to obtain for me and for all the knowledge of the love of the heart of Jesus. And finally, to defend and protect me at the hour of death. Amen. May Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.